Today, we're turning this $15 piece of MDF into a $150 piece of MDF with holes. That's right, we're making a Festool MFT tabletop. Now, the first time you do this, you're gonna have to sacrifice one piece of MDF to make a jig. Uh, the jig is a one-time thing, and you can reuse it as many times as you want after it's made. So without more to say, let's bring out the LR32 system and make the jig. I've got the 55-inch LR32 track clamped down to the short side of this 4 foot by 3 and a half foot sheet of 3 quarter inch thickness MDF. The exact placement of the track isn't important as long as the uncovered surface is at least as large as the MFT top. If you're not familiar with the LR32 system, what it does is allow you to, in conjunction with a Festool router, drill precise holes at multiples of 32 millimeters. Conveniently, the MFT tabletop has 20 millimeter holes drilled at 96 millimeter centers, so we're just going to outfit this router with a 20 millimeter bit and drill at every third hole. 3 times 32 millimeters is 96. We'll eventually get the 20 millimeter bit in here, but to make the jig, it's actually a 5 millimeter bit. I'm going to drill a 5 millimeter hole every 96 millimeters, or 3 LR32 steps. Do not touch the track after drilling the holes. It's critical that this line of holes is perfectly parallel to the edge of the wood. Take your track saw and make a cut. That's all there was to the jig, and you'll soon see how it helps to align the dog holes. But first, we have to cut this top down to size so it fits inside the MFT. Accuracy here isn't critical, this won't affect the alignment of your dog holes, but it's still nice to get a good fit inside the MFT, so try your best. This is the jig in its final state. The dimensions are perfectly matched to the MFT top, and it has these 5mm holes along this side that are parallel to this edge. I'm going to put this aside now, and we'll get started on the real MFT top. This is now the stock that will make up the MFT top. It's again a 4 foot by 3.5 foot piece of MDF, and I've brought back the LR32 system, clamped it down to the long side, now, not the short side as we did for the jig. Now it's along the long side, same 5 millimeter bit, and we'll make a hole every 96 millimeters. Just about ready to swap this top off with the jig we made. There's just one final step. Gotta get this rail replaced with an LR32 rail and put it over on the long side. To align it, use some quad logs. Okay, the rail is now set up across the long side of the table, but unfortunately, my ceiling height is too short, so I can't get this out of the way now. What I'll do is get the screws off the MFT top in preparation to put our jig on, and lower the table down so that this can be lifted up out of the way. The jig is in, fit perfectly, and now we're almost ready for the fun part. But before I get that 20 millimeter bit in my router, there's one last setup step. Populating the 5 millimeter holes with 
five millimeter dowel pins. Now it's just a matter of lining up the holes on the new top with the holes on the jig. And I think you know what comes next. This part can be tedious, but if you want good results, you have to take your time. And for your own sake, wear a respirator. MDF dust isn't very good for you. Well, it was a lot of drilling, but it turned out perfect. I'll be a lot less preserving of my MFT tops now when I know I can batch one out in about an hour. And there you have it, my $15 square as always MFT top.